This episode of Kill the Reaper contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and depictions of PTSD. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, lovelies! Welcome back to Stacy's Station, True Crime Edition. Now, as promised, today we will be launching the new segment, Crime Revisited. And what better introduction to the biggest crime sensation to hit our own town, the Red River Reaper. With me today is the arresting officer on that case, Detective Dennis Parker. Hi, Stacy. Thanks for having me. Now, for the listeners that don't know or may have forgotten, could you give us a brief summary of what happened in the Red River Reaper case and a reminder of his heinous crimes? Of course. Well, uh, you see, the bodies of four young women were found in Port Himes Red River last year over the span of three months. The women were victims of the serial killer dubbed by the media as the Red River Reaper. I still remember when the first victim was found. It almost didn't seem real. Yes. We all couldn't believe something so horrifying could hit so close to our homes. And then the next victim appeared, and the next. At that time, were there any suspects that jumped out to you or your colleagues? No, not at the time. The victims weren't connected in any obvious ways. And the Reaper was smart. Always seemed to be one step ahead. It was almost like he was a ghost. And yet, you caught him. It's shocking to think that the Reaper was none other than Daniel Smith, a seemingly gentle and harmless member of our community. Yes, a quiet train engineer for our largest local transportation company. It's always the people you least suspect. Well, not always. But it just goes to show you that you can never really tell what's inside a person's heart. Truly. So, if you had no suspects, how did you find the Reaper? After the third victim, my former partner... Detective Turling, and I managed to find a connection between the women. They all had taken the same train before they went missing. A lucky break in the case. Mm Mm-hmm. Karen, uh, Detective Turling, was always good at finding those seemingly insignificant details. And then, about a year ago, the Reaper's intended victim, Rosalind Williams, managed to escape the Reaper's grasp and helped us apprehend him. Yes. More lives lost to his evil hands. But no longer, thanks to you, Detective. Is there anything you're able to share with us today about the Reaper's upcoming trial and the rumors of the Reaper just being one of many masks Dan Smith has worn? At this time, we are treating the speculation of Mr. Smith being the Cove Killer and Mountain Murderer as just rumors. As you can expect, he isn't being cooperative in any regard. There's still much we don't know, including the accurate number of victims. I imagine it would be quite difficult to get any information out of him. And I'd also assume with no proof to connect Mr. Smith to the aliases of the other killings, he can only be tried for the deaths of the four victims of the Reaper. At this moment in time, we only have evidence focusing on Mr. Smith's crime as the Red River Reaper. Unfortunately, there isn't much else I can say other than that we are gathering every shred of evidence we can to ensure that monster never sees the light of day again. Thank you for your time, Detective Parker. It is a great comfort to know that you are doing all you can to keep our town safe. It's been a pleasure having you today. The pleasure has been all mine. All right, I think that's going to be a great episode. You sure? Being in front of a camera is always nerve-wracking. You did great! You're a natural. (laughs) So, I'll get this footage uploaded and then we can work out what to do for dinner? Sounds good. I have some calls to return, so I should be finished around the same time as you. Babe, how is it really going? You look tense. Off camera? It's hard. Really fucking hard. That bad? When I said Dan was uncooperative, that was putting it lightly. He won't admit how many lives he's taken. We know he's the mountain murderer and cove killer thanks to Rosalind. But Dan just acts dumb whenever we question him about those killings. He's enjoying this. Enjoying the fact that people are still suffering even with him locked up. Oh, love. I just... I hate that there's nothing I can do to help the victim's family finally have closure. I wish someone could make that monster suffer. Now I feel awful for making you do the show. Had you told me how badly this case was affecting you, I would have done it a different way. No, I wanted to do the interview. On the off chance any of the families listen, I want them to know that we haven't abandoned them, nor have we forgotten about the unsolved murders. And there's another reason. What is it? It's Rosalind. Dan's refusing to talk to anyone except her. 
I thought maybe she'd hear this episode and would like to help. I know she's done so much already, but if she could get him to talk, she'd be helping so many more people. Rosalind's avoided every little thing even remotely linked to Dan and what he's done. I don't think she even listens to my true crime episodes, but she'd especially avoid this one. <sighs> I had considered that, but I had to try. Do you, do you think you could talk to her? Maybe if it comes from you, it might convince her to help one last time. I know where you're coming from, but I've seen how hard she's been trying to piece her life back together. If I just throw this at her, it might break her entirely. Yeah, I understand. But... Uh, I'm meeting her later this week. I'll gauge her then, and if she seems able to handle the topic, I'll bring it up. No promises, though. That's all I could ask for. It would really help me out. Thanks, Stacy. You're the best. <laughs> I know. I need a hug. <laughs> mm, it feels like forever. I miss our weekly coffee meetups. Well, that's what happens when you become a big star. You don't have time for things like coffee dates anymore. Oh, come on. I wouldn't say I'm a star, but I would be lying if I said my follower count wasn't increasing by the day. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Stace. 
All that hard work is paying off. Forget about me. Let's talk about you. How have you been? I'm okay. No, no, no. None of that. Look, that bench is free, okay? Sit and talk to me. Really. How are you doing? I'm alive. It's more than others got. Should be happy, right? Strong and fearless now that I've looked death in the eye. Isn't that how it goes in books and TV shows? This isn't fiction, hun. You can't force yourself to heal or recover from all that you've had to face. Uh, some days I'm good. I feel like I'm almost how I was before. Other days, uh, most days, I feel lost. I still know I'm me, but I'm disconnected. I wish I could take that feeling away. Have you got others around you to support you day to day? My parents. I've been living with them. I couldn't stay in the apartment. To be there without Marcus, it just felt wrong. That's good. I'm glad you aren't alone. It still hurts, but it's easier, I suppose. I can't burden them with everything, but being in a quiet neighborhood like that definitely helps. Please don't think you're a burden. We're all here for you. <sighs> Vanessa said the same, but it's hard to not feel like a burden sometimes. Vanessa? You're still working at the bookstore? For now. At first, I decided to keep working there despite him. I wanted something to keep that was mine. Didn't want him to think that he won and took everything. But now? But now I don't think it's worth it. Every time I hear the bell chime when the door opens, I think I'm just gonna look up and it'll be him. I'm scared that he'll just appear. He's locked up, Rose. Dan isn't getting out. Please. Please don't say his name. No, sorry. Sorry. Rose, what about taking another trip? Somewhere further this time. It might clear your head. No, he's still in my head. Doesn't matter how far I go, I'll just be bringing him with me. Besides, running away never solved anything. Is it really running away, though? To me it is. I need to focus on starting over. New job, new place, maybe a pet? <sighs> Starting over sounds good. <laughs> What's that look for? Is something wrong? Hmm? Uh, 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 huh. I... Mm. Nope, never mind. No, no, never mind. I opened up to you at your insistence. Talk. What's up? <sighs> You aren't going to like it. Hmm. <laughs> You've never backed down from a topic before. Don't treat me like glass, Stace. It's about... him. Okay. What about him? Dennis said they've tried everything to get him to repeat his confession that he's the mountain murderer and the cove killer. To tell them how many victims there are and where they're buried. But? He's refusing to talk. He's playing with them. Dennis looks so frustrated and exhausted. He, he wants to help the families get closure and justice for their loved ones, but he can't. But uh, isn't knowing he's going to be imprisoned for life because of the Reaper killings enough to bring them some sort of comfort? To a few, maybe, but they'll always wonder where their loved ones are. Some will be stuck in hopeful denial that they might come back when, deep down, they know they've been killed. I suppose. I feel for them. Enough to help them? Help them? How? I'm nobody to them. Just someone that managed to survive. What, what can I do? Something that no one else can. You can talk to Dan. No. Rose. No! You can't ask me to see him again. You're the only one he said he'll talk to. You're the only one he'll reveal everything to. You're the only one that can help these poor, suffering families. Is this why you wanted to meet up? Did you really care about how I was doing? Of course I did. Look at me. I only want the best for you. Then don't ask me to face him. But you will have to. The trial is coming up, remember? The trial? 
if you can get him to talk before then, they can put him away for a lot longer with no chance of ever seeking parole or early release. No, I, I can't do it. I can't see him. Okay, okay, sorry. I shouldn't have pressed the subject. No, I'm sorry. I... I know that you're in a difficult position. You want to help, Dennis. I get that. Hey, do you want to get something to eat? Hey, we can talk about possible names for your new pet, if you like. Or we can start looking at possible new jobs. Yeah. Sounds good. Hmm. Is it just me, or are more orders coming in for the weird shit? <laughs> Define weird shit. Last year, you thought the increase in werewolf romance novels was peculiar. And I stand by that. I think the titles angered me more than the premise. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was that one that sent you into a ten-minute rant again? No puppy love. Seriously, still can't believe they felt that was the best title for that book. I think it's getting a movie series. What? Oh, God, hasn't the world suffered enough? So I take it you aren't gonna go see it when it comes out? I'll still go see it. I just want to see the actors struggle to say the lines and try to be convincing with it. <laughs> ah, and I can't wait to hear your review of it all over again. Miss Williams! Miss Williams! Miss Williams. Williams. Williams! How do you respond to the accusations you that you're the Red River Reaper of the Just a few questions, please! What? Do you feel any remorse for your Williams. Williams. What are you In your own words, can you justify trial? your selfishness? The hell did you just say? I... I, I don't know what you're talking about. You have it on good authority that you are refusing to cooperate with the police in their pursuit of justice. Are you trying to aid the Reaper? No. She was one of that creep's victims. She just barely survived. H how could you call her his accomplice? Other people are barely surviving his evil. Countless families are desperate for justice for the deaths of their loved ones. I, the people I, deserve I, to know I, the I, truth. And those families and you lot should be turning to the police for answers, not harassing a woman who's just trying to get her life back. Easy to say. But what of the previous victims and their families? Their lives aren't so easy to get back. Oh, come on, let's get you out of here. Hey! You shove that microphone in our faces one more time, you're gonna be walking sore for the rest of your life. Running only makes you guiltier. How can you sleep at night knowing your lack of empathy is making his victims suffer just as much? I... I'm not... I'm not like him! Don't listen to their poison. Come on, my car's right here. Miss Williams! Miss Williams! Williams. I can't stop shaking. Wanna stop somewhere? Get something to drink or some air? No. I can't risk more of them appearing. Where where did they get all that stuff anyway? Snakes like that can find anything out. Probably bribe someone on the police force for a little insider knowledge. No. Dennis wouldn't. Besides, I didn't even speak to him. <gasps> what? Today. Was it worth it? Uh, was what worth it? Rose, what's wrong? I just got jumped by a bunch of reporters. All of them somehow aware that I said I wouldn't help the police anymore with that case. You are the only one that brought up that subject to me. I swear I didn't tell anyone. Then what? They all went to a psychic? How did they know? I, I don't know. I would never betray you like that. My trust in people is shaky at best, Stace. I know. The only thing I can think of is that someone might have been at the park that day and overheard us. A lot of reporters are looking for any scrap of news about the case. It's possible they paid whoever overheard. Maybe you shouldn't have asked me in a public place then, huh? And maybe you shouldn't have kept pushing me to see things your way. Please, Rose. I know you're upset, but believe me when I say I didn't know this would happen. I did It doesn't need to be said, but I'll say it anyways. You're a good person, Rosalind. I don't feel like a good person. Our brains have a funny way of making us feel awful for doing what needs to be done to protect ourselves. You can say that again. Ugh. This is all such a mess. What do I do? Don't let anything those reporters said get to you. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is like that part in Puppy Love. What? 
<laughs> Excuse me? You know, when Hector rescues Guinevere from the creep and drives her to safety? <laughs> You're my Hector. No, oh, he's the worst character. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I needed that. Feeling better? <sighs> yeah. So, what are you gonna do now? <sighs> Ugh. Five in the morning should be illegal. Detective Parker, this way. Sorry to call you here so early. Eh, it's okay. I'm always awake at this time. Just takes my body a while to catch up. <sighs> well, when you see this, I'd say you'll catch up quick enough. Always a good sign. To be honest, I don't know anything about your current case, but I'll try to help in any way I can. Well, we've kept it quiet for now because we weren't 100% sure they were connected with each other. But now you're sure? Number three is usually the giveaway in things like these. And with this being the third in a week, I want to stop this escalating any further. Third in a week? That's extreme. So, tell me what you need. Your opinion. I'd like to know from the expert if I'm not just imagining things. That's... uh, the others are the same? Same skin tone, same dark hair, same dark eyes. Height is a bit varied, but still. Same method of death, too. Someone's killing men who resemble Dan Smith. And like I said, this is the third in a week. Whoever it is, isn't leaving much time in between them. A serial killer killing someone that looks like a serial killer? Weird, right? Can't say I'm surprised with this town anymore. Kids going missing at Christmas, campers slaughtered at Valentine's. Every time we blink, something new hits. What's next? The Easter Bunny goes on a town-wide rampage? Last year, I would have said you were exaggerating. Now, I'm considering looking at my insurance policy to see if I'm covered against rampant rabid rabid attacks. Anyway, better to focus on one disaster at a time. What are your thoughts with this? Well, that's mostly why I asked for you to come down. My hope was you would confirm my suspicion over the killer's motive and their identity. You already have a suspect? Smith's last victim, Rosalind Williams. Rosalind? No way. She wouldn't be capable of something like murder. As we just discussed, nothing would surprise me anymore. You can't deny this is very plausible, especially after all he put her through. Yes, what Dan put her through. Not these guys. If you were suspecting Rosalind, you'd have been digging into her history. Is there even any connection between her and these men? Not at all. But that doesn't mean she wouldn't seek these men out or any man that resembled the source of her pain. No. No, she wouldn't. I'll trust your opinion for now. But it may be in everyone's best interest if you spoke with her. Better she talk to a face she knows and not feel like a suspect to get a better read on her. I won't interrogate her. She's been through a lot. And if what Stacy says is true... She's not doing great at the moment. With every day that gets us closer to the trial, the more I worry about the impact this is having on her. Sounds like a woman that could be capable of this to me. If she weren't your girlfriend's friend, would you be as quick to dismiss her as a suspect? (sighs) I, I see your point. I need to see her anyway. I'll talk to her about this while I'm there. Thank you, Dennis. I really do hope Rosalind isn't responsible. I know. Wouldn't it be easy if we could just ask the victims? <laughs> I wish. But certainly be a lot less paperwork involved. This this is detective. Detective. If we could just detective get a Parker! Oh, jeez, they're all vultures. A bit of professionalism wouldn't go amiss. Don't think that word exists. At least for story hungry ghouls like them. Oh, it's insane out there. Welcome to my life since last week. Every day brings a new reporter and an increased headache. Although I don't think either of you are going to help that. Oh, should I have not let them in? I I thought, I thought you called them here. (sighs) What's the matter? They're here now and I'd rather avoid opening that door any more than it needs to be. Well, since you're both staying, would you all like some tea? Coffee, maybe? (laughs) Pun? You aren't still mad at us? You know none of this was our doing, right? Not intentionally. But I'm in this mess because you two just couldn't leave me alone. Rosalind. Hun, you know that isn't true. You look exhausted. Have you managed to get any sleep? (sighs) Not enough to benefit. 
Sorry. I know I'm not easy to deal with. This is all just so frustrating. I know, and we don't want to add to that. And yet, I have a feeling you're going to regardless. Well, go ahead. So, this week, there's been a new string of murders. Not more women. Has he? No, no. I swear, he's still locked up tight. <sighs> okay. Uh, yeah. I, I know he is. So stupid. You're not stupid. No one would blame you for faring that. The deaths do have something to do with him, though. Just not the way you were thinking. Then how? What's he got to do with these killings? Or better yet, what do I have to do with this? Surely all of this is confidential. <clears throat> well, all three deaths have been reported. Just not all the details have been made public knowledge. Which is... All three victims are men who very much resemble Dan Smith. So why are you telling me... <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Right. You think I'm responsible. Of course he doesn't. Of course he does. Why else is he here? Why else is he telling me about the killings? Regardless of me knowing you aren't the one responsible and telling my colleagues as much, I had to ask. Of course you did. So, what's my title? The Red River Reaper's Reaper? Rose, we know you aren't behind this. You can barely hear his name. Why would you seek out men that look like him? Valid point. But there's also the fact that I'd never kill anyone. We know that. I suppose I should be thankful for the media's presence now. No one can argue with over a dozen witnesses saying that I haven't left the house for over a week. The only good thing to come from their invasion. The chief won't argue with that. I thought the trial coming up was bad enough. To think there's someone out there that hates him enough to kill innocent men. Why would they do that? It's... it's not something we can begin to understand. The minds of these killers... It'd drive you mad to even try. But when they want to reveal their secrets, shouldn't we take the opportunity when it's offered? Dennis! This again. Really? Yes, really. I'm sorry. And I don't want to push you, but look outside, Rosalind. I'd rather not. The media are already desperate to tear you to pieces over not assisting. But the second they learn someone's out there killing men that resemble Dan, they won't leave. If they see you go to talk with him to get him to reveal his secrets, then... They'll get bored and leave. And then you can finally get your life back on track. At this point, there's nothing to get back. This place? My parents' house was my last safe space and it's been taken hostage by them. Now you two are in here trying to guilt me once again into doing something that makes me feel physically sick. I know it won't be easy, but you'll be protected. Don't. Don't make promises like that. There is no protecting me when you're asking me to do something that will hurt me. He's already hurting you. I can't stop that. I wish there was another way. I really do. Babe, she said no. We should just leave her. Sorry, Rose. We, really, we are. No, I can't leave yet. Rosalind, please. You can be forced to stay here day after day with all of those sharks out there getting more and more ruthless in their attempts to get a story out of you, with no care of how they treat you or your parents to get it. Or? Or you can see Dan, accept the request, let him see you, and get him to talk and leave as soon as you want. <sighs> you really think it's that simple? I show my face and he'll spill his guts? That's not how he is. What do I need to say to convince you that this is the best option? I'll be with you the entire time, and you'll see. He's just a pathetic little man. Show him that he has no power over you. Easy for you to say. Oh good, more sharks. You know how to get rid of them. I really don't have a choice, do I? Oh, Hannah, I'm so sorry. How soon can I go and get this over with? I'll make the arrangements today. It will go this weekend. Rosalind, thank you. Don't. Just don't. Tell the reporters on your way out. The sooner they leave, the better. Relax. I'll be in the room with you, and there will be more officers watching on the other side of the glass. Dan won't be able to hurt you. I know. It's just, uh... He's been haunting my dreams almost every night for a year. And just the thought of seeing him again terrifies me. There's nothing to be afraid of, Rosalind. 
let's just get this over with. Okay? Okay. And remember, if you need to leave, just say the word and I'll get you out of there. All right. Rosalind, you came. And here I was beginning to think you had forgotten all about me. I... I can't. It's okay, Rosalind. I'm here. No, I... I want to leave. You can't go. You just got here. Here. Why don't you sit down? Yeah. It's good to see you again, Rosalind. You look good. A little tired, maybe. Why am I here? Because I wanted to see you. Dennis said you wanted to tell me something. Straight to business. How boring. It's been nearly a year, Rosalind. Don't you want to know how I've been doing? No. <laughs> well, I want to know how you have been, Rosalind. I want to know everything. Are you still working at that bookstore? Do you still live in Port Vikram? Are you seeing anyone since Marcus is, well, you know, dead? Fuck. You. Dennis. I'm leaving. He obviously brought me here simply to torment me further. Rosalind, no, please. Stay. And you, Mr. Smith, you are going to tell her about your victims, as you said you would if I brought her. Nothing else. Where is the fun in that? It's been so long, and I wasn't allowed to send Rosalind any of the letters I wrote to her. Nor would they let me call you. I would have burned your letters without even reading them. See, I've missed this, Rosie. We're so good together. Enough. I'm warning you. You're warning me. The way I see it, detective, is that I hold all of the power here. I have information you want, and if you want this information, then you have to do what I want. And I want to talk to Rosalind. In that case, it seems like I'm the one holding all the cards. I suppose that's true. But I know you, Rosalind. You're going to stay and get the information because you just can't help yourself. And that soft little heart of yours is going to force you to help all those poor families find the remains of their missing loved ones. <sighs> hmm. That's what I thought. Alright. Fine. Let's talk. That's a good girl. So, tell me, Rosie, how have you been this past year? As well as can be expected, I guess. Your work? Still at the bookstore. For now. And how is... What was her name again? Vanessa? And how is Stacy? I always enjoy her episodes that focus on me. Or should I say, us. There is no us. Oh, but there is, Rosalind. Whenever anyone mentions me, they always bring up you. The one who got away. We are synonymous now. Back on topic, Smith. All right. So if there is no us, is there someone new in your life? Yes. There is? Yeah, my therapist. And since you seem to think we're synonymous now, how about you start paying for my bills? <laughs> You had me go in there for a moment. Unfortunately, my accounts are frozen at the moment, so no can do. But perhaps after my trial? Let's face it, I won't be using my savings anymore. You... I... I don't want your money. You just said that I you... I don't want anything from you. Well, technically, you do. You're here for information from me, after all. Information that you seem rather reluctant to give. I'm just enjoying my time with you while I can. You know, I really should thank you. Prison hasn't been so bad. The food is terrible, but I get to read. A lot. And most people leave me alone because... Everyone thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. But I actually feel good. They have me on medication. To help curve my impulses, they say I'm getting better. You can't cure being a psychopath. <laughs> I wasn't aware you were a psychiatrist, Rosalind. I don't need to be one to know what you are. Can we please focus on the real reason Rosalind was brought here? You know, I thought you would have been proud of me. I'm making an effort to better myself for you. And you don't even say thank you? You're unbelievable. 
Why can't you understand that I want nothing to do with you? I will never thank you for anything. Nor do I want you to better yourself. Ugh! I almost wish you had gotten away because if you weren't behind bars, then maybe your body would be the next one the police find. Rosalind, enough. Uh, sorry. Oi, what's this about? Has there been more killings? That's not important right now. My patience is wearing thin, Smith. I did as you asked. I brought Rosalind here. She has done as you asked and answered your questions. So talk. Tell us where to find the bodies of your other victims. No. No? No. My sweet Rosie Posey gave me an idea. I'm not going to tell you anything, but I will show Rosalind where to find them. What? Out of the question. No. Suit yourself. If I can't show Rosalind, then you're not getting your information. I've had enough. Dennis, can I go? Uh, yeah. Sure. Doesn't look like he's going to cooperate anyways. Thanks for coming to visit. I'll be seeing you again real soon. Not if I can help it. But you can help it. I know it. And you know it. Wouldn't you agree, detective? Come on, Rose. I'll take you home. Have a good night, Rosalind. Are you okay? He knows exactly how to get under my skin. I'm sorry, Rosalind. I should have known he'd pull something like this. No, you couldn't have known. I'm sorry, I wasn't of any help. But his request... It's outrageous, right? They won't let him out. No, they won't. Or, well, I don't think so. Don't think so. I guess it will depend on how much pressure the media puts on the force. Dennis, I won't go anywhere with him. I won't. I know, Rosalind. Don't worry about it right now, okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's get you home. You'd think I'd be able to forget about him after a week. But it's like I was at the station this afternoon. His words just keep digging deeper and deeper into my brain. I'm worried about you, hun. What did your therapist say? Oh, you know. Freshly reopened wounds. Reliving trauma. You just need time. The usual. I mean, it makes sense. You managed to move on from worse than a conversation. Maybe... You do just need some time to process. It's kind of difficult to process with an army of reporters camped outside my house. Honestly, you'd think this sort of behavior would be illegal. <sighs> maybe you were right. Maybe I should pack up and run away for a while. Or maybe for good. There's nothing really keeping me here. What about me? And your parents? It's not like I couldn't come visit. Or better yet, you can come visit me. But uh, I really don't have a career here. There's lots of bookstores out in the world that I can work at. I mean, I suppose if you think it's for the best, I want you to be happy, Rosalind. And if that means leaving Portheim, then you should. Then maybe I will. Once I'm no longer a murder suspect. <laughs> oh god, why is my life so messed up? You know you're not really a suspect. Right? I'm sure there's lots of other people who want to see Dan dead. I don't want to see him dead, though. He needs to pay for his crimes, and death would be too merciful for him. One thing I don't understand is if this killer is going after people who look like him, surely they must know he's in prison. So why kill innocent people? I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. But I'm sure Dennis will figure it out. There's nothing to worry about, Rose. Then why do I have such a bad feeling in my stomach? Come on. Why don't we forget all about that monster and watch some movies like old times? Maybe we can even build one of our classic blanket forts from when we were kids. <laughs> blanket forts? Yeah, don't you remember? We used to make some really elaborate ones that covered your entire room. I don't think we have enough blankets for that. Then we can go raid your linen closet and make a towel fort. <laughs> What's gotten into you? I just want to see that beautiful smile of yours. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, but we don't need to make a fort. Honestly, a silly movie sounds great. 
Oh, right. I know just the one, too. Let's see. I think it was on Streamflex? Yes! Here it is. Stacy? Yeah? Do you think the police will give in to D Dan's request? Will they force me to follow him to wherever he hid those bodies? Uh, I don't know, hun. It's not entirely uncommon for prisoners to lead the police to specific locations related to their crimes. Really? But he could escape. There's precautions taken to prevent that from happening. Think about it, Rose. The public has been pressuring you to talk to Dan, right? To get the location of the graves? Well, imagine how much pressure is being put on Dennis. It's way worse than what you're going through. I didn't really think about that. But they can't force you to do anything. You say that, but I never wanted to see him again, and I ended up at the prison visiting him. It wasn't a visit, Rose. You were helping with a police investigation. You weren't there for him. I know. It's just... He manipulated the situation so easily. Manipulated me. He wanted a reaction out of me and got one without much effort. You had every right to be emotional, hun. What you went through? I can't even imagine it. And to face the person responsible for all that pain. Well, being angry or upset is perfectly normal. I want to help the families of those who are still missing. But I don't think I can go anywhere alone with him. Oh gosh, no. They would never leave him alone with you. If they do let him show you to the location of the graves, there will most likely be a whole team there with you. That somehow doesn't make me feel any better. It will be okay either way, because Dennis would be there to protect you. Yeah, and Dennis probably hates him too, huh? Uh, hate isn't a strong enough word for what Dennis feels toward that creep. <sighs> Knowing Dan, he probably has some elaborate plan to escape. If he tries anything, Dennis will stop him. You have a lot of faith in Dennis. I do, and you should too. I'll... I'll try. Good. Now, about this movie. Neon green in the dark skies above? Why is the movie title a paragraph? <laughs> it isn't even a sentence, Rose. It's supposed to be really good. A cyberpunk comedy. Okay, color me intrigued. Should we go make some popcorn and grab some drinks? Yes, please. I can do <laughs> what was that? I uh, I don't know. You don't think someone broke into the house, do you? We should check it out. Y yeah. Mom? Dad? Rosie? Can you come down here? Is everything okay? Um... Well, seems like you have an unhappy fan. Huh? What the hell happened? Someone threw this rock through the window. This note was attached to it. Let me see. Murderer. Wow. Okay. What? Are you kidding me? <sighs> what are we going to do about the window? We can't just leave it broken like this all night. Mom, Dad, I'm so sorry. I didn't think anyone would go this far. No, no, no. It's not your fault, sweetie. Uh, I think I have some plywood in the shed. We can board up the window, then call someone to fix it tomorrow. I'll, I'll clean up this glass. No, no, sweetheart, it's okay. I'll, I'll sweep this up. You just take it easy and have a relaxing night with Stacy. No, don't be ridiculous. We will help clean this mess up. Yeah, it's late and this is my fault. Go back to bed. I'll patch up the window. Don't be silly. This isn't your fault. If we all work together, we'll get this fixed up in no time at all. I'll go get the broom. And I'll go get that plywood. Could you go get my toolkit from the closet? Sure. I'll call Dennis. Maybe he can come over or get a patrol car to stay outside and make sure no one else gets any bright ideas. This isn't going to end until the police find the bodies. They're going to have to give Dan what he wants. I'm going to have to go with him, aren't I? Hey, it'll be okay. It'll be a quick drive to the location, they will confirm Dan told the truth, and then you'll head back to the station. It'll be over before you know it. Right. Nothing to worry about.
This episode was written by Carrie Murphy and Jenna Oliver. Starring the voice talents of... Jenna Oliver as Rosalind Williams. Luca Xavier as Dan Smith. Key Garland as Stacy Cameron. Gerald Hill as Detective Dennis Parker. Emily Evans as Vanessa Burns. Mia Rodriguez as Detective Kate. Diana Helen Kennedy as Catherine Williams. Ray O'Hare as Joseph Williams. Lena Garcia as Reporter 1. Loki Coulter as Reporter 2. Nate Washko as Reporter 3. Aaron Golden as Reporter Number 4. Brianna Pearl as Reporter 5. Kira Payne as Reporter Number 6. Ryan X. Mesher as Reporter 7. Music by Key Garland. Wayward Survivor was written, composed, and performed by Key Garland. Key art and character art by Avia Key. Backgrounds and logos by Blind Deaf Ghost. Audio editing by Jenna Oliver. Casting by Jenna Oliver and Luca Xavier. Hi, this is Jenna Oliver from Wolf and Magpie Media. Thank you so much for listening to Episode 1 of Kill the Reaper. Episode 2 will be posted on Monday, October 16th. Episode 3 will be posted on Monday, October 23rd. And on October 30th, we will be posting the full feature version, which contains all three episodes of Kill the Reaper in one. If you liked what you heard and you want to find our other social media accounts, you can check out our link tree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Wolf Media. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.